Hi guys and welcome and I've got the pleasure today of doing a lovely little interview with a BLAM partner, Nelly Nguenya. Did I get that right? Yes, you did. <laughs> <laughs> We've just been talking. I'm, I'm uh, renowned for my poor pronunciation um, of people's surnames, so I'm glad we've got that one nailed. So, Nelly, absolute pleasure. I'm really uh, delighted you're able to join us. Um, so, you are a bland partner. You're based over there in South Africa. Do you want to just introduce yourself? Tell us the name of your business and how long you've been a bland partner. Okay, great. Thank you so much for having me, Grant. Um, so like you mentioned, my name is Nelly. I actually run Bold Digital Online. I joined BLAM about in July. That's when the business started working. So I've been five months in uh, so far and the time has flown by <laughs> very quickly. The time flies when you're having fun, Nelly. <laughs> <laughs> So, um, so you're five months in, and I remember when you uh, when you first joined us, you worked in your family business. Yes, that's correct. And and so what you've been doing over the last five months is balancing sort of fifty fifty, I believe. So, yes. what's your sort of uh, your 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 working week look like at the moment between the two businesses? Well, fortunately for me, I work from home, so it's easy for me to sort of um, balance out the two companies. Um, mainly, I start off with the family business in the mornings uh, because we deal with a lot of hospitals and uh, government agencies, so they, they do a lot of work in the mornings. And then in terms of like prospecting, then I'll do it in the afternoons for the digital marketing business. But also in between, if I have like prospective clients and they want to do a zoom call or anything i always schedule them in depending on what time they're available and i normally just put aside 30 minutes i think it's enough to cover everything so it's easy then to manage everything yeah that's and i think you know from experience one of the one of the key attributes to actually moving forward in business is getting that balance isn't it if, if you're not full-time on your on your digital agency um, you know that balance is key. What do you, do you find um, diary management is a big part of that? It does, and fortunately now technology is making things so much easier for me. So even my phone landline for Ball Digital is on my cell phone. So if I'm in the on the move, I can always respond to customers, emailing. Um, so I also have like um, you know I use my Google Calendar to book in everything and also so that I don't double book myself because sometimes I'm so busy and then I don't check what I actually have and I commit to a client or you know then it becomes a little bit of a problem so yeah so I think that's a really key thing is we have to practice what we preach don't we we're in digital marketing yeah <laughs> we've got to use the tools haven't we to to make sure that you know we we leverage the power of technology in fact yeah. One of Blam's core values, embrace the beauty of technology. There we go. We've got to do that. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> it's it's helped me quite a lot. And because I'm the only one working in, in the digital marketing business, so I do everything, even from admin stuff. Mm. So, yeah, it can add up. So in terms of your, your background then, just for the benefit of, you know, of the Blam partners and, and prospective Blam partners, um, when you first came to Blam, what was your experience with digital marketing up to that point? Um, well, I did sort of work in the technology space. I used to work for Ericsson as a management consultant. I also then worked at Accenture. So in terms of like the digital world, I was always very interested in, you know, what's upcoming and how can we do things easier, especially, you know, working for also for a family business. Um, it's difficult to have all the resources in terms of like hiring people to do certain jobs when there's actually technology that can do that. Um, so that also kind of pushed me to go into the digital marketing space. Um, because, you know, I saw the struggles, you know, small businesses have. I've been in the family business for 20 plus years and I've experienced with other small businesses and the challenges they face. So that was that my main focus to kind of help other small businesses kind of also stand out in the digital space. It's difficult to uh, know everything that's going on because they're also busy with their day to day lives. So, yeah, that's what got me into it. And so when you first joined, um, 
as with all bland partners, you get thrown into the deep end with the training. And how, how did you find the training side of things and, and getting yourself up to speed with, with the uh, certifications? Well, I mean, I've, I've been studying all my life and I love studying and training and mm. always kind of like keeping up to date with what's happening. So the training was nice. And what's also cool is I, I can do it at home and I could pause it in case something else important comes up. It's mm. just the quiz part. I have to make sure that I don't have a distraction. Otherwise, I don't do as well. Um, but I enjoyed it. And I like the fact that I can always go back because sometimes uh, a situation will happen with a customer and I remember something from the training it's mm -hmm. easier for me to go back and act and because everything is put in sections so I don't have to really watch the whole thing I can just go to what I need yeah yeah, yeah. that's awesome and so now you've got you've got your first few customers you're you're dealing with them how have you found that sort of transition to getting those first few customers and and working with them well, I mean, it was a great win, um, you know, getting someone to actually sign and then make payment um, and then being continuous with that. That's it's awesome. But I've also learned um, in terms of the other things that come into play. Once you do have a customer, you kind of have to maintain that relationship um, mm -hmm. and also also manage it so that they don't take too much of your time, because now they'll be requesting um, a lot of things, but the the support team on Blam is awesome in that because I just tell them to email. Uh, if it's a technical issue, I just tell them to email and then I just check up on the Blam Connect just to see how it's going. Are they happy? And yeah, that's also been great. So it allows you to sort of have more time to grow your business and then, you know, knowing that the, the, the Blam account management team can look after your customers for you. Yes, because I think one of the things that they uh, liked uh, about, you know, our BLAM websites is that that continuous um, sort of they can always alter their websites and, you know, they, they like that. Um, sometimes they also want to know how to do it themselves. Um, so that's also kind of it's just also about the customer experience. Um, the, when they're happy, I have less issues and stress um yeah <laughs> <laughs> and how do you feel now that you are officially a, a marketing consultant is that are you enjoying it what's how does it, how does it feel with that that new role i i actually love it because it brings out the creativity side as well mm. um it also helps you learn about new exciting companies that people are doing um the the meeting i had they actually are a water filtering company and they actually built their own machines because there's some water shortages here in South Africa so they're actually doing that for communities and actually measuring you know the water so there's sort of like cool interesting entrepreneurs out there and I love interacting with them mm. I think I've got I've got to be uh you know sort of when, when I look at my um sort of reasons for going into digital marketing as well one of the things that I love about about the job is what you've exactly what you've just said uh, i find it really interesting talking to other entrepreneurs about their business mm -hmm. um and seeing how you know applying the knowledge that we have as digital marketers to help them grow their business yeah you know and i always talk about blam as being an entrepreneurial business because that's really now what you do you you work with other entrepreneurs as you yeah. are um yes. and you your knowledge and skills helps them grow their business too Mm -hmm. And it's also um, because sometimes they have this whole big idea of saying, okay, my business is going to be great. I'm going to have a website. But then you also kind of tell them the reality and the things that they have to put in place, the tools and how it works. And sometimes it might not work out as quickly as they thought that they would. Yeah. But luckily, we've got like the stats part so they can actually track their progress. Um, then we can have meetings and discuss, uh, you know, is, is your strategy working? What else can we do? Um, and all of those things. Mm, that's awesome. Yeah, and I think that's that's key. Managing the expectations and helping guide somebody along that route. You know, our process, as you know, is is kind of a set in stone, and that's one of the things that you know our clients really benefit from. Um, you know, and it's it sounds like you know you've really got the the knack for that. You know, from the early stages, um, and you've had some you've had some great wins. I mean, you've been working five months now and 
you're on a, a sort of um, a fairly steady um, process now. I think you're, you're in the region of sort of a sale a week, something like that. Yes, um, and based on that, it's actually been sales or prospects that I've been working on uh, maybe a month or so before, and then they're only now starting to to come in, um, which is, I also like it uh, like this, because if it's too much all at once, um, mm. I think it can get a bit overwhelming, and then I also want to still give that same customer experience to everyone that, you know, that joins on. Mm. That's awesome. So what's the future hold, Nelly? Where do you see yourself in sort of 12 months time? How do you see the business growing? Um, in 12 months time, I'm hoping to actually hire a few agents, um, you know, so that they can do a bit more of the prospecting in terms of the cold calling side. And then I can always then take on, you know, in terms of managing the customer and then actually what can I say, um, booking them in or, mm. you know, having them subscribe to the service. Um, but yeah, because I would also want to create jobs because that's also one of our biggest mm. challenges here in South Africa, especially even for the youth. And it's in their fields. They like technology. Hopefully mm. I can find some strong candidates. Yeah, I think um, my, my experience with South Africa has been it's such a, an entrepreneurial country. There's, you know, there's such a lot of, um, you know, willing people there that, that are, and and you know, despite despite some of the challenges, it, it's quite it's quite inspirational when you you know you can help young people and you can you know give them the tools. Yeah. And sometimes that's all they need. It just that's all you. they need, and then if they can branch out on their own, I would have done something great as well. Yeah. No, that's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. Fantastic. Well, a, absolute pleasure talk to you Nelly. um really uh delighted with how things are going i um, can't you. wait to see how your business grows so if anybody wants to get in touch with you how, how can they reach out to you um they can email me obviously at nelly at bold digital dot online i'm also on linkedin uh bold digital dot online um yes i try and keep my social media small because i have to manage it and be consistent so I yeah. just try and keep it limited, yeah. Yeah, that's very sensible. We don't want to spread ourselves too thin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. Well, I really appreciate your time. I'm going to get let you get back to work now. Uh, but fabulous to, to speak to you. And, yeah, we'll catch up again very soon. Thank you. It was lovely. Cheers. Cheers.